Hi, and welcome to this section of the elementary and middle school math tutor. And in this section of the course, we're going to bring up the subject of multiplication, okay? A lot of students have trouble at first when the topic of multiplication is brought up because it just seems weird. It doesn't really make sense at first what they're trying to do, okay? Well, I'm going to explain it to you here, and hopefully you'll understand, and I think that you will, okay? The, the big picture is multiplication is a shortcut for addition, okay? That's what I really want you to remember. You can add up as many numbers as you want, and you can count and count and count, and it all works, okay? But when you're dealing with really big numbers, it can be tough to write them all down and to add them all up, okay? It just takes a long time. So they invented this thing called multiplication I'm going to talk to you about a little bit, and basically you're going to have to remember some things. You're going to have to remember your multiplication tables, okay? But I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to build upon that to multiply any two numbers of any, of any size, okay? Now this section of the class is not going to have too many problems in it. It's going to be more of a description of what multiplication is, but in as far as like what exactly does it mean, and then as you get into the sections that follow this section here, you'll get into some more of the problems, okay? So the first thing that I want to kind of write on the board is um, the following, okay? Multiplication Okay, is a shortcut for addition. That's exactly what I told you a minute ago. It's a, it's a shortcut for addition, okay? And what do I mean by that, okay? Let's say you have, let's use a different color. I'm in the mood for blue right now, so let's do that, okay? Let's say you had two balls, okay? You had two balls, and I'm going to add to it to two more balls, okay? and I'm going to add to it two more balls, okay? So you already know how to add this stuff up, okay? You already know how to add this stuff up because what you have here is you have two balls here, okay? And you have two balls here, and you have two balls here. So if I were just going to ask you, what would, how would you add these together? What would be the answer? Well, then you would say, well, that's simple. That's just six, right? because you just count one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can do that, no problem, and you got the answer. Write it on your test, you're done, right? Well, that's true, okay? But let me show you what multiplication is, and let me show you why it's the same thing as what we've done here. Here we have some addition, we got the answer of six, so remember that, okay? Now, what I've done is I have a group of two here, okay, and I have three groups of two, okay? The way I've drawn it on the board is I've got, in each group, okay, I've got two things, right? But I've got three groups of two. One group, two groups, three groups. So I've got three groups total, and in each group I have two things, okay? So the way that you write this down in multiplication, okay, is you say, okay, three times two, okay? That's what you say. You put a big X here, and that just means three times two, okay? What it's telling you is you have, and the first number is how many groups you have, in this case three groups. The second number is how many numbers in each group, how many things in each group. These could be pencils or pens or apples or whatever, but I have them grouped like this, so three times two, and you already know that the answer is six, okay? You already know that the answer is six because we already told you that you already counted that this is, when you add up all the stuff, you get six. So you see that multiplication 